Hey, what's up, guys? Antonio here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to hook up your PS4 Pro or PS4 Slim or original PS4 into a computer monitor. Now, let me tell you guys something. This is the old computer monitor that I had laying around. It supports Windows Vista. Sorry, I can't see that well. I know the lighting in my room is terrible. <laughs> but, um,. Anyway, so I have a PS4 Pro, and I know you guys are going to say, well, the PS4 Pro uh, supports 4K TVs, you know, uh, it should not be working on model, right? Well, you can still use it on a 1080p or a 720p TV, like this TV back here is a 720p, and um, I do have a um, uh, 4K TV, but turns out that him went dead after an open day, and somehow one of the uh, input went dead. Um, there are some power issues in the apartment I'm living in now, and it had not helped TV. So, that's what I'm dealing with, so, I just got this. And, if you guys know, let me know how the quality is looking right now. I'm recording at 10, uh, FPS, 10, 1080p, and 60 FPS. I'm not even going to re-edit that. It's just going to be raw, right? So, what you pretty much need is, um, what's up? You need a VGA to HDMI adapter, and uh, you have to get one that's powered. It's on PlayStation 4s. Um, they they require power to get some the uh, visual into the display, or you might not get any visual. But um, it's like it gives it visual, but sometimes it won't stay on as long. It does kind of hook up because the thing uh, needs to like suck up power a lot once this thing has power. So yeah, um, just regular VGA cable. If you're rocking with the old monitor, which I am, you use a VGA. And then um, you got the power cord for the PS4, also the power cord for the monitor. Let me unplug my iPhone 7 Plus charger real quick. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the monitor. Let me show you that working. This one's my PS4 power cord. Right, we'll go ahead and plug that in as well. I don't know what that was. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, hold on, worries, guys. I dropped the power cord. Grab it. <sighs> there we go. Now, the reason why I'm putting my monitor here is next to my bed so that way I can game at night. Um, I always dim the monitor though because it is extremely bright. It's now LCD, but it's still bright as hell. Alright, so, pretty much what I said, what you need, VGA port, go with your monitor, power cords, obviously. Uh, you do need, if you're going to get the Incendia version like I have, you do need a micro USB cable. Um, the PS4 Pro has a micro USB cable on the back, so that's good. Um, if you're not using it for PSVR like I am, I used to use it. Um, <clears throat> or, um, if you're working with the PS4 Slim or the PS or the original PS4, you're gonna have to put this into an outlet. Or if you're able, you can put it into the front and you got a long cable. I have a short one, so I'm pretty much okay. So I'm gonna power this guy on so that way we know it's working. <clears throat> and sorry if I mumble a little bit. Um, I do have braces on, so it's kind of hard to talk with braces. Alright, and uh, oh. You also need your controller, obviously, and uh, your micro USB at home with your controller. You don't really need it, but for purposes, you might need it. <laughs> Alright, so grab the PS4 Pro, which is quite heavy, with one handed. Very strong. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is if I can get a better angle, we am gonna slip it this way. You guys can see the ports. Alright, so on the back, you just need the HDMI, the back USB port, if you're not using it or anything, and the power cord. So that's what this guy comes in for the video and the power. So we need to grab the HDMI for this. And the reason why, like I said, the reason why we're using the USB port, um, because the PS4 requires some extra power to the display. In order to get uh, higher frame rates and higher resolution, because it's not only for the PS4 Pro, it's for all the uh, PS4s, uh, including the PS4 Slim, even though that's 
uh, has like a little kind of power draw. So I'm just plug in the HDMI effect here. Make sure it's all the way in. I'm only having problems when this thing does it going all the way. And then you have micro USB, or you have regular USB. Put it in the back, right here. It's kind of hard to see. I know that. Is. Bear with me. There we go. All right, so we got those cables plugged in. Now we just need to plug in the power cord of the PS4 Pro, which is recess. To be honest, with you, I kind of do like the new power cord for the PS4, and it's pretty much better. But it's kind of a giveaway from the older design because um, I do. Um, my cousin had a PS4 Slim, and uh, yeah, definitely the it. I'm to try to do this at the other way, so it's not under there. So, this thing does get quite hot. Um, now we're gonna grab your micro USB cable that came with the system, but you said any of the front ports on the PS4 Pro, sorry for the, the, the camera angle, like I said, bear with me. And I can't really see that as well, it's kind of a little dark in here. And you want to grab the controller that comes with it, or any other generic controller. I'm trying to focus my camera to it, it won't focus, so well. iPhone 7. Yeah, I love that new camera though. <laughs> it has a little shutter issue. And so, yeah, yeah, still apparent. Alright, so the monitor is on, it's just on rest mode, so what all we just need to do now is just turn on the power, your PS4 Pro. Now, um, if you just had your PS4 Pro uh, hooked up to the TV, and if you have an older monitor like me, and it'll automatically think that it's supporting 1080i, um, but the screen will look a little too zoomed in on 1080i, so I recommend if you hook this up to a monitor, put it on 720p, and you can enable um, RGB range to full or limited. Um, I have mine set to full, but for monitors, I recommend limited. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I press the PS button. Um, and yes, I have the Facebook integration on my um, PlayStation. All right, let me enter my press build. One handed it. And you see, now you guys are gonna notice one thing there's no audio. Well, pretty much that's not really a disappointment. You can just grab some speakers and just hook it up to a second controller that you have laying around, which I do have one over there right behind my soundbar. Or you can just use a pair of headphones. This is pretty much just for like night gaming for me. So I just use my headphones to listen. But most of the time, I don't like hearing my uh, games. So, like I said, you have to do your. Video resolution, so you go up to settings and you go up, you go down to screen, and then you're gonna set it to 720p. Now it'll be set to automatic for the most part, and it'll select 1080i. And it's 1080p is highlighted, but it says it's unsupported. So, like, here, here's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna set it to 1080i real quick. Now it does glitch out because it has to make sure. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. You see that the screen doesn't fit. Um, then I put it back on 720p. Same thing on the original PS4 and the PS4 Slim. Also the PS3 um, also had that thing. Um, you can put your RGB, uh, whatever setting you want. Uh, automatic, which is recommended. Uh, limited or full. It depends what your monitor supports. Um, HDR does not work in deep colored output does not work um, And then you want to do your display area um, if you did not do that yet And then uh, after that you can just reboot your PS restart it and then it should be good And then yeah So that's how you hook up your PS4 Pro or any PS4 you have uh, Into a computer monitor um, Like I said it's just be my night gaming Um so yeah, so let's recap this. You need your PS4 Pro, or any kind of PS4 you got, any kind of computer monitor you got that actually supports, you know, high definition. You need a VGA cable, 
power cable for the monitor. You need a VGA adapter to HDMI. You need a micro USB cable to power it up. Sorry. Uh, let me turn off the monitor so that way the iPhone won't glitch out. Um, so you need a micro USB cable to power the adapter up. If your adapter actually has the micro USB cable. Um, uh, the reason why is because the PS4 needs some, some power to actually feed some output from the HDMI. The, the HDMI is not auto power. So we, and then you need the power cord, obviously, you need for Pro, your controller cable, and controller itself. And then you do the setup, like I showed you, on the display. Now, um, if you do this, it might glitch out, uh, like I saw when I switched the uh, frames. Or the um, resolution, it does glitch out a little bit. So let's keep it some time. You know, the PS4 has to power up this little guy here, and then it still has to put its resolution into the adapter and feed it into the display. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there might be some more gameplay on the October Hill Gaming Channel. Uh, pretty soon. You know, I'm trying to get you know things together right now. Let's see, but yeah. So, good luck, and I hope this video was helpful. Okay, thanks guys.